Boom, what's good, y'all? This is episode 5 of the podcast with Pops. Here come Pops right chill. We want to uh, thank y'all and give a special shout out to all 1,685 oh, subscribers. Oh. Uh, we got, as a channel, uh, videos, shorts, remixes, clips. Overall, we got 39.5 thousand views. Man, that's crazy. And we... We have shout out to all the viewers. Yeah, shout out to the viewers. Shout out God. <laughs> we got uh, we haven't even been running for a month, so I said that's crazy. But we gonna get straight into it today, man. I got a question for you. I saw Gilly the Kid from Million Dollars Worth of Game ask this question. He said, "Is college overrated?" Well, it depends on who you ask. Because my opinion is, you know, funding your education is a good thing. I know a lot of people went to college and still have dead end jobs. True. You know, they went to college for four years, you know, and then they got the degree and they end up with jobs that's not even in their field. Yeah, that's know? true. So I look at it, you know. I I say from a perspective of somebody that's mm-hmm. currently in college, I say in some cases yes, it's overrated, but it really depends on your major. And if you have a plan going yeah, in, yeah. the hot majors right now are good majors to have. It's like myself, I'm an engineer, nursing, trying to be a doctor or a lawyer. Something that's going to be, like, that's needed, a job that's, that's well sought out after. Like, we need engineers, we need doctors, we need nurses. So, stuff like that, that you know you're going to have a good chance of getting a job at. Yeah. Because myself, I know people... From experience, I know people who went to school three or four years, and they end up being truck drivers. So it was really you wasted three or four years in college because you're not even working in your field. And that was my biggest fear. I always wanted to go to college and get a job in my field, rather than going and getting a dead end job, uh, going and not having nothing to do after college. So I said, as long as you have a plan, and it's really about what you want to get out of life. What you want to get out your college experience? If you want to party and play around all four years, then you know what you're looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, what you, you know? It like this, and, and later on in life, you know, you might need that degree later on in life. True, you know? but as I said, if you want to party and good time and live life like it's no tomorrow, then you you're not gonna have a successful time in college. But what you said was it depending on the field that you go into. Yeah, and 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 you know? if you got a plan and how you execute your plan. That's what I think. About. That's right. But uh, I want to ask, what do you think is a good age to move out of your parents' house? <laughs> as soon as they're possible. <laughs> hey, Sam, that's true. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. I think a good time to move out of your parents' house is when you, you know, you get, you become of age and you start coming in all hours of the night. Mm-hmm. When you start getting really, really disrespectful. You understand what I'm saying? You start feeling when yourself. you start feeling yourself, it's time for you to go ahead and move on and get your own spot. Yeah. Because you know what my saying is. I tell all y'all, if you think you grown, get your own shit. For real. It's mine. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true. So you got to, you know. But I, and I look at it like this, you know. As long as you pick, my kids were in school and keep a job, you know, there's nothing wrong with helping you, you know, help those that help themselves. True. You know, that's, that's how I look fact. at it, you know, so that's big fact. You know, so it depends on you nothing know, gonna lay wrong, you want a drug and stuff like that, you know, you gotta go on somewhere else with that. Yeah. If you want if you don't wanna help yourself, how can yeah. you help? I can't help basically. if you don't want you know say if you don't wanna help yourself. Yeah, but you know? I believe it's it's a thing where like y'all have like a silent agreement like your parents, like y'all both agree, like, you know, it's about time for me to leave or it's about time yeah. for you to leave, you know. Yeah, before, so, before it get real. For real. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't, it, you can't do certain stuff under your parents' no, household. That you, you, you know, that you really want to do when you're yeah. alone or when you're private. <clears throat> yeah. So I say, it's whenever you feel, co- when you and your parents feel comfortable. Yeah. I don't think it's no particular age, but I do got something that I want to say. I feel like, why y'all in y'all parents' houses? Stack your money. Get to the bag, you know, get your nice little job. And stack your money so when it's time for you to go out on your own, you'll be able to get your house. You'll you, be able to get your car. And you're car. speaking for yourself because that's what you're doing right now. Facts. You're staying at home 
you go in the southern close 10 minutes away from your home yep. and you working and you stacking your bread so you and your girl can get y'all so in the place. So when it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. coming soon. Yeah. So when yeah. it's time for me yeah. to move out, yeah. I got the money to do it. Yeah. I'm not getting my money and going blow it and do this and do that. So mm -hmm. when it's time for me to go, yeah. I can go. Yeah. I want to speak on man. Cat Williams had an explosive interview with Shannon Sharp. Man, he turned that thing off. Oh, he cut up in He went <laughs> crazy. Like they had, and I looked at it earlier. They had forty-eight million views in eleven days. Yeah. Man, yeah. they went viral. But I feel he spoke his truth. You know, that's, 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 that's what I think. That's what right? I think too. You know, can't nobody, you know, can't nobody tell his story like he can tell it. Exactly. You know, because he was there. Because I believe. People saying, you know, he did it for Cloud and to go viral, but he, ha but Shannon Sharp had Steve Harvey on the show. He had Cedric the Entertainer on the show. Oh. He had Ricky Smiley on the show. C Club Shay Shay. So he, oh, they were saying stuff they, that wasn't true. true. And Cat Williams out, so he came to clear, 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 name. clear, clear his name, name. basically clear his name. <laughs> so he came to clear, clear his name. name. How can y'all be mad if somebody, yeah, if somebody lying on you, or, you know, stirring on you? Yeah. Or, you gonna get on Instagram and clear your name? Yeah. So I don't feel like he was wrong for doing that. I mean, yeah. he a truth teller. That that's all he talked about is telling the truth and getting to the bottom. Of well, no one thing he did say that 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 was really true. Steve Harvey never been funny to me. To me, he he <laughs> was never funny <laughs> to me. Yeah, like, I watch you know, Kings of Comedy, you know, you know, and Steve Harvey just not funny to me, <laughs> in my opinion. Brandon yeah. Mac, my favorite. I feel like Brandon oh, Mac yeah. was the funniest out. Yeah, out of the four. Brandon, yeah. So, yeah, but, Steve, but you know Steve what, Harvey never been. You know, the thing about it is that Steve Harvey actually was a backstabber because in Ocean Eleven, when Bernie Mac played in it, Steve Harvey tried to steal that, that yeah, part from Bernie Mac. Yeah. And I brought it to your mm -hmm. attention before this Cat Williams stuff jumped off, like a week or two before. We was watching, uh, I think, The Kings of Comedy. Uh, we was watching some on TV dealing with Steve Harvey. And I mm -hmm. told you, I was like, you know, Bernie Mac. I mean, Steve Harvey was hating you, on Bernie Mac, right? You I said, man, I didn't know that. Like, and you he didn't want Bernie Mac to get a TV show. That's right. Like, it was all type of stuff, but I, I had knew that already, so I was been looking at Steve Harvey kind of funny. Of hate. Man, you, man, you touring around the country with uh, comedy shows, and you hating on it. Yeah, that's true. Y'all uh, brotherhood. Yeah, I said Bernie Mac was the funniest out the four. But said entertainer. You know, he didn't even lie about Cedric the Entertainer because True. he went back in the 80s and stole a joke from a comedian and told the joke the same way the comedian mm. told it and didn't try to change it didn't at change all. Nothing. He said it word you for know? word. So you had to be original, man, and, and make up your own jokes, man. Yeah, that's what I feel like in comedy. If you're the original king of comedy. True. I ain't nothing original about stealing. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're so, king of peace. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean... If you gonna be a, a a a comedian man coming with your own jokes, you gonna get respected more in the long run. But um, I don't have any uh, against the rest of them comedians. I think all of them do a good job. Kevin Hart and all of them. What some people think might not be funny to me, it might be funny yeah, to you. But like I said, I don't like you know. He brought up a comment about that all the um, comedians dressing up. And women clothes and, and stuff like that, and, stuff. and dresses, and you know, I think when you do stuff like that, man, you know, you selling out. Yeah, I, don't I think, think that's you're selling out. I think you're really selling out when you do that on screen for money. True. But um, I got to say this: I saw an interview with Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes played as Nino Brown in New Jersey. Nino Jack Brown, City. legend. That's one of my favorite movies, New Jack City. That's Nino Brown. <laughs> yeah, that's Nino Brown, that bad boy. They, the makers of that movie, came to Wesley Snipes to do a part two. He respectfully turned them down. He said he not going to make movies where black men, they're stereotyped as drug dealers. So... You gonna make a movie with a wig and a dress on and two one foot. Yeah. So I mean, I wonder how you really feel about that. That's what I'm saying. You can't say something like that and then yeah. go and do a movie like two one foot. So what with, are you with trying lipstick to? On what message are you trying to send? Dream? So what message are you sending to people? You understand know, that way. That's what I'm saying. And uh, <laughs> I mean, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart, Chris Tucker, Wesley Snipes, Nino Brown. If y'all don't know. 
Tyler Perry, you know, man, they all and put that dress on and. <laughs> And I just gotta say, man, we put their dress on, man. That's very the world that's humiliating, like that. man. That's like, humiliating you. So I say, exactly, exactly, it's humiliating. Man. But think how their careers took off. Yeah. After they did that, when they did that. So I mean, Cal yeah. Williams had a lot of truth to what he was saying. We can't sure find our feelings. He sure did. He said something about people that we like and we love to see on TV. Yeah. So and you can't get mad about that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but for me. I believe Cat Williams is funny. Yeah, he funny. And there's a lot of stuff that go on in Hollywood that people won't believe. And they don't know about. Like, they gonna say it's conspiracies and stuff, but he been around it. Like, what reason he got to lie? Yeah, I got to exactly. Uh, next mm-hmm. thing, we got. Why do we want to be our own bosses? I always want to be my own boss. I have as well. You know, I got. A, 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 my father came from Woodville, Mississippi. <laughs> He moved to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and he had his own construction company, Green's Construction Company, where he did house foundation, building foundation slabs. And man, he worked in that construction company, his own business, he built with his two hands. He worked that business to the day he died. He always told me and my brother that he would never work a nine to five for any man. He always wanted to work for himself. So he tried to instill that in us. So he, um, he told us that, and I went against the grain. I went and got a nine to five and worked for somebody. And when I started getting a nine to five working for other people, I really understood what he meant. And when people have high positions over you, some people and your bosses, your managers, or anybody on the other on the higher level than you, sometimes they try to make you feel less than mm-hmm. and really try to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I decided that. I want to work for myself. That's why I have high shot delivery service. That's why I have water slides and bounce houses. Because man, a lot of people, you know, they will pull a lot of shit on you Facts. when they feel they got the upper hand over you. That's good. You know, so. I say, man, people want to flex their muscle. That's they exactly. want to show how how big and bad it is. Exactly. They want to show, oh, I've been here longer than you, so. Yeah. You do this, or yeah. you do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, constant bickering and playing games. And I'm in different sections of the store. When I finish my work, I'm yeah. doing somebody it's else's a, job. Because the they too lazy to do it. Who going to do my job if I don't do it? So, you know what I'm saying? You know how that go. But I say, uh, I want to be my own boss. I want a legacy. I want something to leave behind for my son. Exactly. I, I can't do a job I'm working at now. That's not a legacy. Right, that's just something to make money. It's a nine to five. So, yeah, just a nine to five, man. You got to leave that nine to five on the shelf, man. You got to do what's best for you. Exactly. If you ain't happy, man. You got to do what you start do. a job, you know what I'm saying? Start a business, get your LLC, and that's the best thing I to do. I was saying, get your Work business. Work for yourself. Get be your a, business. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. It's more value in it. It's definitely, it's more you money in it. Make your own money. Exactly. Make your own hours. You ain't got to constantly have somebody on your back. Are you doing this wrong? Are you doing that? And where you getting off and why you well, we couldn't find you and where you was at man we not trying to hear all that man you know, straight up you know when they owe you they show their ass yeah they, they <laughs> yeah, cut up man. you know how they do you they know cut up on you man so like i said you the business i feel like everybody should have a business or try to start a business yeah. because when you start a job or you've been on a job for a long time there's always somebody that's been there longer than you they're gonna try to show out on you yeah. And bash you and, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like this. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. That's why I want to have my own business and be my own boss. But we got our boxing segment, man. We got Arrow the True Spence. He had cataract surgery. He said that's the reason why. Here, here come the excuse. <laughs> here, come, here come this. I lost my money. <laughs> <laughs> Need that you money back. I lost mine too. You should have got his eyes fixed before the fight. For real. You ain't going to say nothing all about the, him and bet that man. And all that man. So he said he had cataract surgery uh, recently. He said the cataract was covering his eye. That's why he got hit with so many jabs and hooks. <laughs> man, Terrence Carver went crazy on you, man. Come on, bro. You making excuses now, like he, he couldn't sing as a shit was shot. For real, man, 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 man Terrence Carver looked amazing. He, I ain't never seen him look that good. But um, Lord have mercy, <laughs> Lord, 
they confirmed he had a rib injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he that, uh, he know, confirmed that he had a rib injury. <laughs> Do you think he should retire? Yes. I think he should retire. <laughs> I just can't stop laughing. Because after the fight, he said he was going to be the bigger man. He was brought up in the old law where even if you got an excuse, you don't use it. That's what he posted on Instagram yeah, like days man, after the fight. All this was going on, you had cataract, glaucoma, brain you got damage, your ribs man. Broken, on, some roach brain. Like, man. Why would you cause millions of people to lose their man, money? Man, man. <laughs> we <laughs> was two of them. <laughs> we yeah, was exactly. exactly. But uh, exactly. he said he not retiring, man. He already had a torn retina. You think it's worth a rematch? Uh, <laughs> Do you think it's worth a rematch? I, I say. It, it, okay, if we're being logical, no. Like, a Toro guy that fly Mayweather didn't, don't need a rematch. No. Like, Tank Davis and Ryan no. Garcia don't need a rematch. It's no. it's two different levels. No. But, it will, if they don't rematch, it'll always be what Errol Spence wasn't at his best. Or, you know, he had yeah. an eye injury or he had a, a yeah. rib injury. So, But he said, he, he said he's not retiring. Coffin not going for the excuses. He wished him well. And <laughs> you know how that go. If Coffin versus Spence 2 doesn't happen, who do you want to see both of them fight? Uh, I really want to see Crawford fight um, maybe Boost Ennis. Boost Ennis, yeah. Maybe Boost Ennis. I'm trying to be a showdown. Boost Ennis, because both of them got the same fighting style. True. Man, that'll make one hell of a fight. Yeah, that'll be a Crazy. That that's one fight, fight I know will live up to the hype. This man, that'll be a bad one, man. Like that, that fight, nah. that'll be fight of the year for like for many years. Like, man, we ain't seen a fight like Boots in versus Terrence Crawford in yeah, a minute. Like, that'll go down so, in the books. That'll go really I think down. that'll probably be one of the greatest fights in recent history, it, in my opinion. I mm-hmm. I want to see a uh, Spence and Crawford don't fight. I think Spence should move up and fight Tim Zoo. He been calling out, yeah. He been calling out Charlo for a while. Yeah, him and Big Charlo will be a, a, a good, real good fight. Yeah, they uh, good, real good fight. They uh, he been calling out Charlo for a while, mm-hmm. but you know Charlo moved up and fought Canelo, and he got a lot going on like legally. So, mm-hmm. like, I I need to ask you a question. I want to get in this subject. Why some exes can't let go? I just can't think? let go. <laughs> <laughs> should you, should you be friends with someone? You should be with. No, I don't think you should, especially if you was intimate with them. I say no. That's just especially if you're in a relationship. No, even if you're not in a relationship, I, I a new relationship, I still say no. I, I think when it's over, it's over. It's done. It's. it's I mean, it's, I'm, I'm not trying. There's no friend, need to I'm double sorry. back. A yeah. friendship is just keeping the door open. Yeah. To be like, well, if if I can't find nobody else, mm-hmm. let's get back together. But you know what? I think you're a fucking weirdo. Facts. If you fool around there, someone to block you, and they didn't left you alone, and you go on their Instagram, you go on their Facebook, you go on all these sites to try to follow them. You understand what I'm saying? You see them with other people that happy with it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta look and, at the camera, look, man. Look, you look, are a weirdo, man. Look, look. And they continue to follow you and stalk you. And by the way. Shout out to these stalkers. You know who you are. Y'all know who y'all is. If you watch you know this and you feel some type of way, you one of them. You know what I'm saying, man? I mean, you, you got to some point, you just got to let this shit go. You got to let go. And you got to move on, man. You know what I'm saying? My thing saying? is, if you're you know, dating a, a woman, uh, you know what I'm saying, and they move on and have a child, you're done. There's no getting back. Like, it is no more coming back, and uh, mm-hmm. I miss you, and let's I fix mean, it. It's at some point you got to man up. Come on now, let go. You know, it's at some, it's some point you got to man up. Like I, like, I, like, I got to say again, shout out to you stalkers. Shout out, man. Y'all know you who y'all know is. Who you are. And like, I, like the dude in the song said, put that on my first. If you going to act up and, and not do right, don't try to come back and, and fix it. Man, it, it's over with. It's over. It's done. What can you do? Stick that fork in it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing you can do. Come on, man. Like Y'all got that bad man on the spin the block and double bad man. Lying, we ain't going lying. for that, man. Straight up. Like, just move it's on, crazy. bro. We all grown. There's no it's reason crazy, to try bro. to come back. Man, you stalking a woman that's bad. It's too cold to be out in the bush. For real, man. You don't need a jacket or a motherfucker, a heat blanket or something 
to be peeping and watching and stalking. Where she at? Every move. Where, where she at? What's going on? Did she come home yet? Oh, that's all right there. She she can not open her car. For I, real? I see her. That's <laughs> all right there. Is that all? <laughs> that's fact, though, man. Like that's weird, weird activity. <laughs> That's that weird old shit. You worry about what you're doing with another man? Man, that's, that's crazy, man. I, I never understood it. Once it's over, it's over. Yeah. I ain't no more friendship. You blocked. Yeah, I ain't no I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be no friend. This Immediately. Is over. This day, this day. Leave it where it's at, bury it. Right. Get the show. I'm confused. I guess we, we different. Niggas <laughs> trying to come back. And, hey, y'all. Y'all. Beautiful, man. Yeah, that's that weak shit. Yeah, that's that weak I shit. Got man. Message, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, man, no. got a motivational message, man. I guess we got a motivational message. I didn't write nothing down, but just let go. Just let go. If it ain't meant to be, it ain't meant to be. Don't uh-huh. don't stress and trying to figure out. I wish the baby was mine and woo to woo. It just is what it is. Just let go and let God. I guess. Yeah. Put God first. And everything will be alright in your life. Peace. Peace.